Okay, I'm back for uh, segment two. So we are in line three. And it says, when I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him? And the son of man that you visit him? For you have made him a little lawyer, a little law, lore, as a lawyer, not like a lawyer, lawyer, <laughs> a little lore than the angels, and you have crowned him with glory and honor. Wow. God made the entire universe. All right. He put these millions of stars in the sky. He made this giant moon. All right. And all these things, these intricately designed, detailed things. And I think they were saying that not, no two stars are alike. All right. And the same thing as people. I mean, you can be identical twins and they're, and <laughs> identical twins. That's what the name for it. And you still have some distinct and distinctive qualities about you. So God loves us and he is concerned about every thing that we're facing and not only concerned about, he's mindful of us. All right. He's mindful of us. And then it gives us a reference scripture to Job 7, 17 and 18. And so, and this is Job right here when he was questioning God's continuing trials. And he said, and he's asking a question, oh, what is man that you should magnify him, that you should set your heart on him, that you should visit him every morning and test him every moment. Okay, so here it is. David said what? What is man that you're mindful of him? And then Job said that, what is man that you should magnify him? Those two things go hand in hand. Just like that strength and praise that we just talked about. Now here we are. We have what? Mindful and magnify. Those two things go hand in hand. And it says in the son of man that you visit him. So to give attention to, and it also gives us, goes back to uh, Job 10, 12 for that one, which says, you have granted me life and favor and your care has preserved my spirit. You have granted me life and favor and your care has preserved my spirit. Favor and life come from God. Favor and life come from God. And that visit also means give attention to or care for. God cares for us. There's no way in this world that he's going to create us, bring us into this world and not care for us. But I already know, you know, what the, the, the million dollar question is. Well, if God truly cares for us, why do we have all this suffering going on? And why do we have like these recent school shootings that just have taken place, all right, in Florida? Why do we have that? What's going on? Where is God? I thought you said God cares for us. Of course he cares for us. And he cares about the same ones who lives were lost. We have to be reminded that there are two foes, excuse me, two spirits in this world. A good spirit and an evil spirit. And how do we get the good spirit and the evil spirit? Well, that goes all the way back to Genesis. All right. Remember the tree, the forbidden tree that Adam and Eve were not supposed to eat from. Well, they ate from it anyway. And what was the name of that tree called? The tree of knowledge of good and evil. <laughs> so that means, and you can take anything in this world, anything in this world, 
and use it for good and use it for evil. The same guns that were used for evil that that dude shot up those kids at that school, all right? The same guns that the police officer would use to protect somebody, good and evil. This glass of water, how can this be used for good and evil? Well, it can because I can drink some water from it and I also could take this glass and bust somebody's head with it. Everything that we have, everything that we have can be used for good and evil. Okay? Um, and so we're over on that one. And so we're going to stop there. And then we'll pick it up and we'll probably go ahead and end it out. Okay? See you in the next segment.